How you doing today? Today, today is uh, August 16th, 2017. Can you imagine? It's August 16th, 2017. And I was fired from the Department of Sanitation back in December 2015. A year and a half later, still talking about it. Can you imagine? I'm out in front of 60 Center Street. And that other fine building right there, that's federal court. You guys better watch out, that's federal court. You know what that is, right? So just a little bit of proof of life. There's this rumor, I, I don't know, somebody started a rumor, I'm dead. I ain't dead. I ain't dead. Yeah, look, proof of life. There you go, today's paper. Good old President Trump. Blame on the other side. All right, so... Standing out here, is, which is pretty interesting, is um, a lot of people don't know the park across the uh, street from court is actually named after Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine was a uh, American revolutionary. He's the one who was quoted saying, and I'm reading from the sign, My country is the world, and my religion is to do good. Thomas Paine, Rights of Man, Part 2, 1792. This guy lived from 1737 to 1809. He died in Greenwich Village. And um, he was an advocate, uh, rising up in arms against the British. His most famous work, Rights of Man, 19, 1791, was written and processed and Proposed that government is responsible. Let me read that again. He was, it was written uh, after the French Revolution and proposed that government is responsible for protecting the natural rights of its people. Many of Paine's ideas were strikingly far sighted. He advocated for abolition of slavery, defended freedom of thought and expression, and possessed an association of nations to avert. The spread of conflicts. Okay, so Thomas Paine is a good old American, and um, you know, I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to bring people up to date on the situation with the Department of Sanitation. I want people to know that although I was wronged and I deserve restitution for harm done, this is really about, um, it's about more than that. I'm just going to walk for a while. It's about way more than that. It's about um, it's about employment rights. It's about civil rights. It's about the rights of people in this city that I love and that I grew up in to you know not be abused by uh, a government agency in the in terms of a ticket quota to uh, you know treat people like they're cash cows and and uh, you know shake them down for ticket money. So, uh, again, it's more, it's more than just about me. And I wanted to also put out there that it's very, very important. I know this is someone, someone brought to my attention Conti Gate, that this is, you know, this is now called Conti Gate. Like Conti is going to, you know, solve all the problems of the uh, Department of Sanitation in the city of New York. I got to tell you so far, uh, in this, I would, this case started as a discrimination case. Um, I know a lot of people don't want to hear discrimination, but the fact is that that was what was going on as far back as the training. Um, anybody who was in the class, come forward. You know, you know the treatment I was getting over there from from the infamous uh, three teachers. And um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, so but what it what it became uh, from there became a uh, an issue of uh, of retaliation for exposing the 10 ticket quota that division uh, that uh, the Department of Sanitation clearly has everybody knows that WABC uh, Jim Hoffer reported on it the the recordings are you know they're rock solid everybody knows the the deal inside and outside nobody disputes the quota however here's the however okay this is very important however all of the agencies the division of human rights in which I, I'm currently on appeal. Uh, this My case is on appeal, okay? I lost in discrimination court, no probable cause. I lost over here, 
Article 78, dismissed. Okay, they barely even read it. All right, so now I'm in um, the first appellate division, uh, which is there basically, this is what's called the lower court. Okay, well that's federal court, but that's, that's the lower court over there. And then that's federal court. We'll talk about that later, okay? And that's jail over there. So keep that in mind with what I'm going to tell you next. Um, so, so far, not a single, this is the federal building behind me too. Again, Thomas Paine Park. The, um, so far, not a single uh, agency or judiciary, meaning the Division of Human Rights or Supreme Court, New York Supreme Court across the street, have uttered a single word about the quota, right? I've urged it from the beginning, as far back as July 2015, in the class and it, it, to, to your um, EEO director, her name is Teresa Neal. I wrote her a very nice, polite letter describing the, um, you know, the hostile environment created by a ticket quota and the you know the abuse it puts on people around the city creates a really nasty nasty place so these things were all brought up not only in um, not only was the discrimination part of it brought up for being attacked by various you know fake write-ups and fake unsatisfactory things all that stuff was going on it's all garbage if people are telling you in there that I was some sort of radical it's all bullshit right? I should give you a profanity alert next time I say that. I'm sorry. I take that back. Profanity alert. That was all bullshit. Okay, I'm back. So, so anyway, but, but the, 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 the thing I want to tell you is that although there, I, I understand what you guys are feeding it to me, I'm not making it up that the, uh, that the quota has collapsed and they're not pressuring you right now. We know it's Burke. We know it's Burke. We know it's you know his boss Klingler and and even the you know the good Commissioner Garcia someone is you know de Blasio it's they, everybody's kind of you know in on this quota thing it collapsed because they got caught with their hand in the cookie jar but it's gonna come back folks right Conti gate is is gonna be a you know they're, they're trying everything they can to keep the quota out of the record okay not a single judge not a, despite I've said it in writing, in, uh, I've submitted all the recordings over and over again, uh, and it, it has not been entered into the record in terms of them speaking about it or even considering it as a possibility that that was the reason I was fired. All right, so what I'm say, suggesting to you so far, I've, I've, I've reported it to Mayor de Blasio, no response. I reported it to the... Um, city uh, the, the public advocate her her right there is her uh Loretta james i believe I, I i i get their names wrong but uh miss james the public the public advocate from their office is very very yeah we'll look into it and there was no response um the the old union 1182 dead silent um you know so uh there's been a lot of a lot of uh uh, what appears to be suppression of evidence okay so what I'm telling you folks is this I and I the the uh, AG everybody say hey, talk to the AG you call the AG uh, Eric Schneiderman has been notified all the emails everything is documented everything is documented folks there's no more hiding so you know my my suggestion to you you know to the agents I understand I understand that it's still a hostile work environment. I get it. I was there, right? And I don't expect you to come, you know, jeopardizing your job for Mr. Conti who, you know, who got fired and, you know, let him fend for himself or whatever. Uh, you know, and I have no animosity for that. I understand, I totally understand, but it is it is a it is a it is a fact that this type of abuse that certain people who speak up or certain people they don't like because they don't fit the you know the 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 uh, you know the corporate uh, image of enforcement whatever that means the category if you know what I mean uh, so 
you know, so that that that's all in play. But all of the the this uh, this abuse of you know sign, forcing people to sign fake paper, or having upper management, lieutenant, captain, force sergeants to write people up that they know is is incorrect. They know that. That's abuse. That's a, that's malice. Okay, that's operating in malice, and that's not going to go away, folks. Okay, it's not going to go away. So what I'm what I'm putting out there to you is that this is not about me. That if if you guys come together and approach your new union, right, and tell them, look, we're not going to take this anymore. All right, we're done with this. Okay, you know, we're we're done with the abuse, and we want to we want to speak up and get together. And 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 fight it, you know. Speak up, speak up. So that's really all I want to say. And 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 I, I want to just add one one other thing. I'm standing in front of federal court now. On the record, there's a couple of individuals, a couple of supervisors. They know who they are, and I've already done video on it. Uh, have you know lied straight out, straight out lied, given false testimony in uh, EEO proceedings. That's a federal crime. Okay, on the 1802, whatever, uh, you've committed a federal crime by uh, falsifying records and lying on the record uh, in, uh, in a in a uh, federal investigation. Okay, which human human rights investigations are. So, I, I'm I'm urging you, folks. Okay, the good managers, the good chiefs, and the good whoever's. Right, this case is on appeal. And it's it's in the first division. I don't have to explain it to you. Hand it to your lawyers. They know where it is, right? Please don't lie, okay? In your response, tell corporate counsel, please don't lie, okay? You you know I told you that there's there's a lot of recordings still unpublished, okay? Don't lie because if you lie, there, okay? That's where it leads, all right? Okay. So. Just to be clear, okay, that's all. I, I'm not out to hurt anybody. I want to clear the record. I want to clear my name and move on with this. That's all. I want to clear my name, okay? I was harmed. I was racially discriminated against. I was retaliated against. You know, I'm old. There's other things on the record, folks, that I was discriminated against. It's just, not just because I'm an older white guy. That's not the only reason. There were other things going on that I, I haven't, I, I don't know if it's public, but, or you guys are aware of it, but I, I will make that public as I move, as we move forward. There were other uh, protected classes that, um, uh, you know, the, the, the higher-ups <laughs> decided I wasn't, you know, worthy to be there. So, um, which are all protected classes, they're all protected activities. So, again, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, moving forward, there is, this is proof of life where Thomas Paine's Thomas Paine Park. It's August, the middle of August, August 16th. I'm alive and I ain't going away. Okay? I ain't going away. Okay? So let's all do the right thing. Let's be friends. Let's put this behind us. Let's come out. Let's try to clear the record. Supervisors, you know, try to get in front of the storm because it's coming. Okay? Thank you very much.